Hi guys and welcome back here to Drone Emotion to back here once again with a brand new video and today we're bringing you the official specs of the all new DJI Mini 4 Pro and we're gonna be sharing them with you and talking about whether or not this all new Mini 4 Pro is any kind of an upgrade from what the current Mini 3 Pro already is. But before we get started with today's video, if you're new to the channel, welcome here. And you want to be up to date with any upcoming DJ product, you already know this is the place to come for all of the latest updates and news. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and get started with today's video, which will be rather exciting. And that is because today, thanks to our great friend Igor Bogdanov, yet again, we received the official specs of the all new mini 4 pro so what i would like to go ahead and do now is take a first look at the front of the box and then we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the back of the box where the actual specs of this brand new mini 4 pro can be found so here's the front of the box containing the all new dj mini 4 pro we do see the all new sensors the relatively new design as it is is still pretty similar to the current mini 3 pro and that controller and now i want to go ahead and take a look at the back of the box here we have it dj mini 4 pro ultralight and foldable less than 249 grams omnidirectional active optical avoidance sensing intelligent features include focus track waypoint flight waypoint flight and hyperlapse and then let's talk about actual camera specs 4k at 100 frames per second hdr video 48 megapixel photos true vertical shooting 34 minutes of flight time and a flagship 20 kilometers of video transmission so there you guys have it those are the specs for this new mini 4 pro was that what you guys were expecting on this new drone or did dji let you down were you expecting some more significant upgrade in my opinion i think dji fell a little short now the ochsin 4.0 that's great about 13 miles of range that's absolutely incredible that's gonna be a five out of five stars in that regard now we do now have upgraded resolution in 4k we now have 4k at 100 frames per second which is nice to have fly time no changes there 34 minutes i was expecting a little bit of an upgrade to be honest there with you but dj decided to leave it just like it was on the mini 3 pro and obviously the 360 degree optical avoidance sensor yeah that's nice but once you've been flying for a while and you're no longer a beginner you honestly don't really need 360 degree optical avoidance and especially when playing sport mode those sensors are going to be disabled so that's really not at least for intermediate pilots i don't think that's going to be a huge deal that's going to make them upgrade from their mini 3 pro to the mini 4 pro and the last thing is this controller the fact that dj is still going to be using this old controller from the mavic air 2 which is almost four years old i think dj did us wrong down there and giving us this old controller and we're paying a premium price tag for this drone i think dj could have done some better job there at least giving us a nice lcd screen giving us telemetry or maybe a new design something more slim and more practical more easy to carry more light just like the name of the drone suggests it's supposed to be ultralight i promise you this controller is heavier than the actual mini 4 pro but that's just me. I don't know if you guys feel the same way in terms of the controller. I think DJ could have done a better job there. And in terms of the camera, in terms of the sensor size, we still don't know how big the sensor is. We don't have it confirmed 100% yet. But I'm pretty confident that the sensor size will be the same as the Mini 3 Pro, which is a 1 over 1.3 inch CMO sensor. And if that turns out to be true, I honestly don't see 
any reason for anyone to upgrade from the Mini 3 Pro to the Mini 4 Pro if the camera is going to be the exact same. So we're going to have to wait to see how big the sensor actually is because I know all of you were waiting for an upgrade in that regard. So I will keep you updated with that. But on the rest, it's looking pretty good. Aside from the flight time, I was hoping for a little bit of an upgrade. But obviously, we do have, hopefully, fingers crossed, the extended battery life that will make the drone heavier. But it can make it up to over 40 minutes of flight time, which is quite nice. Hopefully, that still is compatible with this Mini 4 Pro. But well, there you guys have it. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to leave them down in the comment section down below. But that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you tomorrow with a brand new video. This is Drone Emotion, signing out.